blackish blue pigmented line on the marginal gingiva with ulcerated lesion on various sites in the mouth is probably due to okay the question is specific to a line and marginal gingiva and ulcerations and the options are lead intoxication cold salt intoxication mercury intoxication and bismuth intoxication now i will tell you why this is a very tricky question because three of the four options have similar clinical manifestations let's go one by one so lead is a uh, Normally, uh, the exposure to this will damage nervous system, kidneys, uh, bone marrow, joints, and symptoms include fatigue and musculoskeletal pain. Then there is bone and teeth uh, affected with chronic plumbism, which which is a more severe form of this condition. The oral manifestations cause ulcers. Okay, then there is a, a Burton, Burtonian line or Burton's line, which is a bluish black line along the marginal gingiva, which results from hydrogen sulfide, which gets accumulated in that area. Now, this grayish kind of discoloration can also be noted on the buccal mucosa. Additionally, there are a lot of manifestations that's tremor of the tongue advanced periodontal disease, excessive salivation and metallic taste. Okay, so this could be a possible correct answer. We will come back to it. The next option is gold salt intoxication. Now gold normally when there is a manifestation of an allergy, it is first seen as dermatitis on the skin because of the patients wearing jewelry and normally patients with alopecia and you know, similar conditions will have pruritus. There is intense itching. Intraorally, there is mucositis and uh, some amount of inflammation of the oral mucosa may occur because of hypersensitivity to uh, gold, not as a part of intoxication. Okay. Now, a metallic taste is present and therapy with gold rarely can bring about a slate blue discoloration of sun exposed skin, which is known as cryasias. C H R y s i a s i s okay so that is an important question over here now that is on the skin not intraorally so that is not the correct answer the next option is mercury intoxication now mercury intoxication or mercurialism uh, can occur commonly in the mouth because of amalgam now there is ulceration of the gingiva again and then the, there is uh, the same kind of pigmentation as we saw in lead. So pigmentation, which is bluish black. But this is not in a form of linear. It's more diffuse kind of an approach, a uh, more diffuse kind of a presentation. There is loosening of teeth and leading to exfoliation. Then the last one here is bismuth intoxication. Now, bismuth and lead have very similar clinical presentation. Like there is a Burton's line in lead. There is a bismuth line in bismuth intoxication. It is a thin black blue line. Mainly, mainly found on the marginal gingiva. It may extend to papilla and it may sometimes also cause pigmentation of buccal mucosa and lips or tongue. There is localized inflammation around partially erupted molars and there is absolute ulceration at the periphery of these lesions. Now this is because of again hydrogen sulfide which is released. These are precipitates of bismuth sulfide and uh, they are formed through bacterial degeneration of organic material and food debris in the mouth and because of the food retention. So mainly you will see this in patients with poor oral hygiene and unclean mouths and occasionally there is a burning sensation of the mucosa and a metallic taste. So now going by the history and the clinical presentation, we have three possible answers. 
of which mercury intoxication is a little different because of the diffuse discoloration and there are additional kind of problems there so that is gone gold is gone okay that leaves us with lead and bismuth now in my opinion both of them are correct answers to this history but when you have a question where you have to pick one here as shown you should go for bismuth because here the line is very specific as compared to lead in lead intoxication this line is a little more diffuse compared to bismuth marginal gingiva is involved in both of them ulcerated lesions are seen in both of them but the line is more particularly specific to bismuth okay this is how it clinically looks so here is the line on the marginal gingiva extending up to interdental papilla this is because of bismuth pigmentation or bismuth intoxication so the correct answer here should be option 4 bismuth intoxication